Hello, so today I'm going to attempt to show you all of the shortcut keys that I know that really help me out in making websites really fast. So first I'm going to swipe for my fingers to the left to come back to my different desktop. So with OSX line you can actually swipe to the left and right. You can change desktops with four fingers. You can change that from four fingers, but by default it's four fingers. And then by swiping four fingers up and down, you can actually show all the open applications. You can add and delete different desktops. If I come over here, I can add a desktop. If I take this application, I can bring this over here to uh, the other desktop and be switching back and forth. If I want to bring that back, I can just take this and bring it back over here. And I can just keep my mouse over here for a second and delete that if I'd like. So I'm going to come back in here. If I wanted to switch applications, I can just hit Alt, I mean, I'm sorry, not Alt, hold down Command and hit Tab and keep hitting Tab until I come to the application that I want. If I want to move in the ops direction, I can hold Command Shift and continue to hit Tab and go in the opposite direction. Or I can just take my mouse and let go over the one that I want to be in. So let's say I wanted to go to Chrome. I can let go over that. Next, uh, I actually have a uh, script that's installed or app that's installed called Shift It. So if you just type in Google Shift It script for Mac or something like that, uh, you can get the script here and you install it. And it puts this little thing and it gives you all these different shortcut keys. Let me show you the power of this. So let's say I had two separate um, uh, Chrome windows open, right? And I wanted them side by side. I can just do Command Option Right and then take this one, Command Option Left, and there we go. Let's say I wanted to open up another one, right? I can do Command Option Control. Oh, I'm sorry. How did we get. Oh, you know why? Because I switched my control to caps lock. That's why. Ignore that one because I actually, on my computer, I have my control as cap locks, caps lock and my caps lock as control for something else I will get into possibly later. But anyway, I don't really use that other one. So let's just uh, stick to this. I just really use the left and the right, or the. Uh, I don't even really use bottom or top, but. You can do left and right, which is just really, really useful. And then, as you just saw, with Command W, you can close out windows. And I don't want to close out that one. I'm going to make that full screen now with Command Option F, make that full screen. So whatever I go into, I can make it full screen. If I wanted to uh, take this finder here and go to full screen, I can do that. But the thing with this is now how do I easily get to the other finder window without taking this and dragging this, right? What I can do is hit Command and then um, the little squiggly line next to one. I don't even know what to call it. And I can go back and forth between the different windows within the same application. It's the same thing with Chrome. So let's say I took this out, made full screen. I can now go back and forth between my screens using that. And then with Command tab I can go from different applications so I can go to the finder and then go to the other windows in the finder right and then if I wanted to close out one I can just do command W now if I wanted to quit something uh, let's see something I want to quit here so I will go and quit sublime text so I'm, I can do command Q and that will quit out of the application the thing is if you're in an application and you hit the little X it actually doesn't close the application as you can see the little white light at the bottom here everyone it's still open it's still active it's still taking up CPU and RAM from your computer and still slowing it down it just has no open window if I click it again it quickly opens right back up into where uh, where it was so to effectively close something you would hit command Q so what is next uh, I am actually gonna open up oh well there is another shortcut command space actually opens up spotlight and you can start typing in uh, whatever program you want to open so I'm just gonna start typing in Photoshop there's Photoshop I can just hit enter on that instead of coming down here and 
and looking where to select something and clicking or, or browsing through uh, going to applications and browsing through right I can just quickly uh, hit command space type in whatever I want and then if I wanted to get out of that I can hit escape and so in Photoshop I can go command O to open something and let's say I come in here and I, I open this I hit enter right so here's this file I have now uh, there's a few things if I want to change the image size uh, I can do command option I and change the width to 900 pixels and hit enter right I can hit command option Z to undo I can hit command shift Z to redo or I can just hit command Z to undo and redo which in some cases work and some doesn't is really weird but command option Z will go back command shift Z will go forward and the other thing in here if I hit V it will select my pointer if I hit C it'll select my crop tool uh, there's a lot of I mean if you go in here and see image auto tone see all these these uh, these are all the shortcuts for this stuff some have it some don't but a lot of the really important ones do so see how command I I can invert the image command I it looks really weird and I can come in here there's a lot a lot of stuff that has shortcuts for instance another one is command option shift s and what that does is save and for web and devices which is I use so often and rather than going file down to save and web for devices I just hit command option shift s real quick with one hand and now this opens up the window here where I can come in select and the quality and everything I want to do and save that so now if I want to close this out I'm done I'm done editing this I don't want to edit anymore I can hit command W I don't want to do that though because I actually want to shape save this as a PSD so I can hit command shift s to save as and instead of command I mean yeah command s which just saves it which would overwrite the JPEG but I want to save it now as a PSD for the changes that I maybe have made to it right and I want to save it now and change the name and do all of that stuff I'm gonna escape out of that I'm actually gonna command W to close this I don't want to save that and command Q I'm gonna close this out uh, and command tab and just going back and forth another cool thing um, is in sublime text actually I'm really not gonna be showing you too many more shortcuts I know there's a bunch that I am forgetting but hopefully this was a good start. I'll have a follow-up to this with some more in-depth stuff. I'm starting to maybe possibly try and use Alfred, which is really cool for web designers, and starting to implement a few other things. So uh, stay tuned for the next episode.